All right, guys. So today we are gonna quickly talk about should you guys summon for the gal plant and then Rosa Mia. So, um, how do I feel about the gal plant? So I think I'm just gonna be outright honest with you guys. This is just a one-off raid sniper that is trying to get that one blue unit in literally in front of you, and that's it. Um, after that, there isn't anything in here that I feel like is gonna warrant this unit to be decently good and that's kind of it so what's I, I guess what's good about this unit is that uh, this unit targets one enemy with the lowest hp dealing six, 608 percent so with that in mind i think hakashiki probably of all the blue unit has one of the low hp threshold so clearly this unit is meant to snipe up hakashiki so um, I think even if you do want to use this in its full intention trying to snipe up Hakashiki, I think that is definitely going to be a tall test for this unit because most of the time when people are playing arena, they usually hide Hakashiki way in the back. So you still have to go to, you know, uh, a big wall of unit that's shielding it off, right? You have tanks, you have other unit that gets in the way. So with that said, this is definitely not a unit I would suggest people going for it because when we do take a look at its entirety kit, there's nothing to write home about, all right? Like when we take a look at skill one, obviously it's kind of cool that you are able to control the match for like that first five seconds. You pop that EX skill run, like literally when you get into the battle, that's, that's hot. But what does it offer you after that? It pretty much does not. Even at skill one, reducing your own defense by 50%, being a raid unit, I don't know if that's something you want to do because uh, like you literally die right after that. So it's not, it's not that great. 8% evasion rate, I mean like, you gotta give us double that, you, you gotta give us at least like a good 16% or maybe even 15%, give us something more, like single digit, I I really don't think it's cutting it, if we're probably taking a look at the transcendent skill, and that skill 2 is, it's alright, so 20 seconds only, you do get 81%, so let's say you talk about, oh I can probably use this unit in like a long form content or whatever, but Keep that in mind, you only have that 81% for that 20 seconds and then after that you calculate the difference between that 20 seconds all the way into the end of the match. Calculate how much loss damage you're getting compared to a unit that is a, that, that has a permanent damage boosting. So uh, clearly this is a unit that is made for arena. Clearly this is not a unit that you would want to go for. So that's kind of where I'm standing. It's just not a fantastic unit all, all around. Uh, Transcendent skill definitely you know makes up a little bit, right? Um, you do have for 30 seconds increased evasion by 50%. So at, at most you are starting out at 58%, but do you guys think 58% is good enough? I really think so because I feel like nowadays a lot of people are being smart with their modules. A lot of people are being smart with how they go with the unit enhancement. They go with accuracy and this unit is going to not make it. So if you calculate the enemies at accuracy on this unit, you probably netting somewhere around only 20% evasion rate. So when that said, you know, this unit is just sitting there, you know, so not that great. Uh, what's nice about this one, it does have an increased EX damage. So for sure, all right, for sure, you if you want to snipe it up any blue element units out there, like your Hakashikis, like, I don't know about the full arm unicorn. I think full arm unicorn is a little bit too much for this unit for sure uh, but it definitely would be able to snipe up any weaker or just any you know lower hp blue unit and that's pretty much like your let's say your skin them for example that's a good target as well um but no yeah this unit isn't isn't really meant for that so that's kind of unfortunate and other things to note in terms of the weaponry only the beam saber is the one that's kind of doing all the tough work being an ss minus uh, at a, a level 115 all the other one is kind of like a support type weapon trying to build up an ex skill gauge if you will so they're not necessarily going to be contributing a whole lot so yeah i'm um, overall definitely not the best unit to go for for the collection purposes i feel like you guys can definitely wait two months have this unit being added into the standard pool and then we can kind of call it there um, so let's kind of talk about Rosa Mia now. So let's see what's so great about her. 
Uh, her first skill is pretty great for first 30 seconds. You do get a melee sense up by 128%. So this one is definitely pretty similar to, I think it was the pilot for the Banshee NTD or I know one of the Banshee has a pilot that is similar to this. It gives you like a really juicy, like a high percentage, at least in 2D triple digit right so it, this obviously sounds pretty nice so I, de I definitely give you that so if you were able to pull the pilot it's still not a bad option you, you toss it into like a ray unit it's still gonna fly all right i'll, I'll, I'll give you that uh, skill two is cool we have an extra 20 percent uh, evasion so that's kind of a good way to kind of balance off the enemy's uh, accuracy so we'll take that so top things out you have 78 percent and then if you do take into the consideration of the enemy uh accuracy at least you're still you know probably at a good 50 or maybe like a good 40 percent so you still need a lot more works on your back end to kind of make this uh, overall team works out good but i i, I like it i'm having that uh, evasion for sure and then giving you a whopping 26 percent extra ex skill damage so we'll take that to so 26 at that 36 and then we're looking pretty solid because in terms of the overall unit itself is busting out a 628 percent so that's kind of like that sweet spot they're giving out these units so it's, I, I guess it's not that bad right um but um other than that if we do take a look at let's say the tags or the Kind of like the coverage for the pilot, uh, besides the raid, besides the high mobility transformer unit, and then green mobile suit, those are definitely not your most like popular tags out there. So, if you are trying to fit this pilot into some other one, I feel like you definitely have some limitation right there. Kind of, kind of unfortunate uh, for raid one for sure. You can fit into any raid unit, for, uh, you know, uh, without any expense or whatever. Uh, but the high mobility is it, it could still be a uh, shaky one because um, not all of them would have it so that's kind of like your um, discretion right there um, but other than that that's going to be pretty much it um, i don't think this one needs to be at that long of a review because this unit you know, all right I, you know is not that great it's it's, it's clear as day is not that good um, but uh, I, I do hope that you guys are not summoning for this unit even though you guys might like it or whatever um, I do hope you guys are saving for something better um, because we are definitely at the territory where you know the happy anniversary could start any moment it can start later in this month or it can start somewhere in May for sure in May because if we even look at the JP timeline May is for sure when uh, JP started having their happy anniversary so I do implore you guys to continue to save and yeah um, other than that that's all I have for you guys and I'll be catching you all on the next one